Okay, so now that we understand what Tails is and how it works, in this lecture, I want to show you how to install Tails on a USB stick so that we can start Tails on any computer that runs any operating system using this USB stick. Now, the instructions that I'm going to show you will work on Windows, Linux, and OS X using the exact same programs and using the exact same steps that I'm going to show you. So, I'm going to be doing these steps from a Windows computer, but these steps will work exactly the same from Linux and OS X. If you follow them and you face any problems, please ask us in the Q&A section and we'll respond to you within 15 hours. So, in order to install Tails on a USB stick, obviously the first requirement is you'll need a USB stick. Now, this USB stick needs to have a minimum size of 8 gigabytes. The next thing that we'll need is the Tails image. I'm going to include its download link in the resources of this lecture. And finally, you'll need software to flash the Tails USB image to the USB stick in order to have a bootable USB stick with Tails on it. And once we have that, we'll be able to connect that to any computer that runs any operating system and run Tails from that computer. Now, the software that we're going to use to flash Tails to the USB stick is called Etcher. And again, I'm going to include its download link in the resources of this lecture. And this application works on Linux, OS X, and Windows. So all you'll have to do is literally just go to the download page right here. And it will actually automatically detect what operating system you're running. So as you can see right now, it's automatically telling me I'm running Windows. And if I click here, it will download the Windows version for me. If it's not detecting the right version for you, you can click on this little arrow right here and just download the Etcher version that is compatible with your operating system. Now, I already have that downloaded in here, as you can see. So the next thing that I need is the Tails image. And again, as you can see in here, I have it and I'm going to include its download link. I know right here it says install from Windows, but like I said, the steps that I'm going to show you will work on all operating system. So ignore this, click on the download in here. Once you do, it'll download it for you. And as you can see, I have it right here in my downloads as well. It should be a file with a .img extension, as you can see here. Once you have these two ready, the last thing that you'll need is the USB stick that you'll flash the Tails image to. And I already have my USB stick connected to my Windows computer. As you can see, I have it in here. It has 28 gigabytes free, but like I said, you only need a minimum of 8 gigabytes. So what we want to do right now is we're going to use this application, Etcher, to flash this Tails image to this USB stick. So the first thing that we'll need to do is to install this application. So I'm going to double click it. And we're going to agree. And it's a very, very simple installer. As you can see, it finished installing and it automatically started the application for me. Now, the installation of this on Windows and OS X is literally as simple as this. All you'll have to do is download it, double click it, and you'll get this window right here. Now, just before I use this, just to show you, if the installer didn't run the program for you automatically, you should have the icon of it right here on the desktop. All you'll have to do is double click it and it'll start the application for you. Now, using the application is very simple. As you can see, all you'll have to do is first of all, select the image that you want to flash to your USB. And like I said, the image for me is this one right here, the one in the downloads. So I'm going to click on select image. And I'm already in my downloads directory, as you can see in here. So I'm just going to click on this image and click on open. We can see it's selected in here. The next thing that you'd want to do is select the USB device that you want to flash the image to. 
as you can see it automatically selected my drive e my device e which is the device that i have right here like i said this is the correct one in your case if this wasn't the correct one all you'll have to do is just click on change and select the one that you want to flash tails to so in my case this is all perfect and all i need to do right now is just click on flash to flash the image to the usb stick but before i do that i want to verify the integrity of the image that i downloaded so i want to make sure that this image did not get modified as i downloaded it and i actually explained how this could happen how it could get modified as it gets downloaded in the previous section so if you don't remember that go back and revise that section but for now i'm just going to show you how to verify that this image did not get modified so i'm going to go back to firefox again we're still at the download page of tails i'm just going to click on i already have it downloaded because i do have it downloaded and in order to verify the integrity of the image that we downloaded we're going to use an extension provided to us by the tails developers and to install that all we have to do is just click in here install tails verification extension i'm going to say yes i want to allow that and i want to add it to my browser we're going to say okay and to use this all we'll have to do is just click on verify tails in here it's going to ask us to select the image that we downloaded. Again, you want to make sure you go to your downloads and select the image that you downloaded. We're going to click on open. And it's going to check the integrity of the image for us right now. And perfect. As you can see, it's telling us that the verification is successful. So the image is valid. It did not get modified as we downloaded it. And now we should feel safe flashing it to our USB device so we can use it to boot into Tails and use Tails safely in the future. So as we seen before, I've already selected the image. I've already selected my USB device that I want to flash Tails to. I'm going to click on flash to start the flashing process. I'm going to say yes, that's no problem. I give permissions. And right now you just want to give it its time to flash the image, verify it, and once done, it's going to show us a notification saying the process is finished. Now, like I said, all the steps that I've done so far are identical on all operating systems on Windows, Linux, and OS X. Follow them exactly like I showed you right here. Ignore the fact that it says Windows in this page, and everything will work exactly as I'm showing you. And perfect, as you can see, it's telling us flash is complete, one successful device, so everything is done with no errors. And right now, Tails is installed on my USB device that is connected to my Windows machine. So right now, I can unplug it from this machine and connect it to any computer, regardless of what operating system it runs on and I'll be able to use Tails from that computer without leaving any traces on it. And I'll show you how to do that in the next lecture.